Memorial Day weekend is commonly known as the start of the summer travel season, and this year gas prices are on the back uh, or are back on the rise. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne explains what's behind the increase and why this summer may actually be cheaper for you to hit the road. My birthday's next week, so I'm actually going to Arizona <laughs> tomorrow to visit. Stephanie Stewart will leave her car behind. I am going to be flying. With these prices, she says it's too expensive to drive. I want to say it was like three forty nine, and I think that's why I stopped because everything closer in the city is like already four dollars. Gasbuddy.com shows prices in the Milwaukee metro area spiked roughly eighteen cents compared to last week's average. Are you expecting prices to increase during the summer? The biggest wild card is probably the economy, which includes the discussion. Uh, that's ongoing about the debt ceiling. Patrick DeHaan is head of petroleum analysis for the site. He says local prices tend to go up in early May as stations switch over to a more expensive, cleaner burning summer blend of gasoline mandated by the EPA. Experts say it helps cut down on emissions. Gas prices, even though they've gone up, they're still about 85 cents a gallon below what they were a year ago. DeHaan says that surge was because of Russia's war with Ukraine. AAA says this year, the price at the pump isn't having much of an impact. Overall economic conditions uh, and, and consumer confidence are, are a bigger indicator than gas prices. Nick Jarmus says people like Stewart may not save much money taking a plane. Average airfares are up significantly over last year. So that's, you know, really shows you people are, are wanting to take these trips, even though it's pretty expensive to do it this year. In Wauwatosa, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News.